Hello everyone and welcome to another video inside of my survival world. Now then, welcome to the next episode. You might see some changes around the world and I've got some news to share with you. I was making this episode yesterday and then the file corrupted so I couldn't actually upload it for some reason. So I'm having to do this again. So um, I think this is episode 15 or 14. But really it should be one above. So look, that's different. That's different. And there's two trees. That's definitely different. And the ladder. So I'm going to just touch on what I did in the corrupted video. Which will not be uploaded. And will be fine. Now then, if you look here. 53 iron. I've got a little thing to show you guys. Look at that. 26 blocks of iron. That's how much iron I got from AFK at my now successfully working iron farm. I'm so glad it works. I said that last episode. Right. So in today's video... Actually, I'm going to go in my house. I am going to continue working on my villager reading room. And in this episode, I plan to begin making the trading hall. Because I want good enchantments. Now then, why don't I just drop off some of this useless stuff. And I'm going to need a bit of coal. So, I guess this cherry wood is fine to use. I'll turn that into planks. I'll start smelting that. You know what? Put a load more in there. Yep, a load more for you too. And also, this ladder is going to connect my house to this, which is the villager trading hall. This room is now almost completely finished. I'm just temporarily blocking that up with that so that no villagers can get through. I also changed the game settings, so hopefully it should lag less. But... I don't have any promises yet. Now I'm going to move this lectern because I want that to be part of the trading hall. The trading hall is going to have all of the librarians and this room, well, the Fletchers don't really need to be organised. So I'll just keep them all in here. I'm also going to, oh, I don't have any bread. I've also been wondering, how do I... It's in the corner, so how do I make a door entrance from here to there? Because if it's an actual door, then the villagers will try to escape. I could use fenced gates, or... Uh -huh. I don't really know. You know what? Let me craft two fence gates and I'll see what I can do when I get back down there. I'm also going to try and get some sugar cane and some leather so that I can make more... Whoa, 40 leather. Great start, I just need some sugar cane, I guess. You know, I probably don't need all of that. But you know what, I'm going to take it all anyway. Do I have a sugar cane farm? I don't think I do. Right, I'm gonna have to sail around and find some sugarcane. Because, yeah, I don't have any. You know what I never do? I never go this way on my boat. I always go that way behind me because the iron farm is across there. But I never go this way. Maybe there'll be some sugarcane, who knows? Oh, it's just ocean.
You know what? I've just remembered something. There's a lot of like scattered islands around the iron farm, so hopefully we'll find some sugarcane there. Let's go back because that area behind me now doesn't look very promising. Hello, house. Good to see you again. And while we sail along, I'm just going to remind you guys to subscribe if you enjoy and don't forget to leave a like because it gives me motivation and if you like this series then don't forget to like this video because then I'll start making more maybe more frequently there's the iron farm oh while I'm here I can also show you guys I could also show you guys exactly how it works I mean, you guys probably already know how this works, but I'm going to show you anyway. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take like five seconds. Look, you see those flames? That is from the iron golem. Yes. I'll take that. So the iron golem spawns in there and basically just dies in there and it slowly goes into here. They spawn because of the villagers. That's just a brief explanation. And before I made the corrupted episode, I AFK'd there for an hour and that's how I got all that iron. Four stacks and a half. Oh yeah, all those poppies are the ones I threw out because, you know, no one really cares about them. You know, I'm going to go this way because I saw some sugar cane in here coming from that direction. I can just walk from about there to my house. It's not that long. Well, at least I hope I saw sugar cane. Oh, it was. It was right next to this tree. And there's some more over there. I'm going to try and get as much as I can from this bit and then I'll farm the rest. Any more down here? I'm not going to go down here if I don't see any. Alright, I don't see any. Aha! There's some more over here. And then I think, I think that's it. It's not really a lot. But you know what? We can overcome it. Oh, I've never been this way before. It's interesting going ways you don't normally go. There's my house. And there's the giant wheat farm. That's how you know. That's how you know for sure. Almost home. Alright, I'm going to start making a sugarcane farm. Oh, I didn't mean to break that. What's going on? I, I might patch that hole up later. Because I don't have an awful lot I want to do today. So if I do finish early, I'll probably patch that up. Should I put it here? Or maybe... You know what? How about here? If I just clear some of these trees, then I'm perfect. I'm in my space. And once I get enough redstone, if I like make a strip mine or something, then I'll be able to make it automatic, which would be cool. That includes observers, pistons, and redstone dust itself. So that'll be a lot of redstone. Well, right now, I'm not going to do that, because I only have six sugar cane. I'm probably going to do it with about 20 or 30 sugar cane, just for maximum drops. I'm going to make it about that long, that bit of water source.
let's begin planting and I'll place some torches as well well I'll place a torch there and a torch there Hey, Buddy Junior. Oh, you know what? I've got to make a dog home for Buddy Junior at some point. Don't worry. The dog home will be coming soon, just for you. Right, let me go down here. They install these gates. Well, you know what? I've got an idea. I don't actually need this other fence gate. Because I've just thought of something. Hold on, how many fences do I have up here? One birch one. Okay, I'll just make three spruce ones and have spares. Well, a spare. This requires three fences. No, this requires two fences, sorry. I'll do that, and then I'll do that, and then there we go. It's just a simple fence gate mechanism. I'm not even sure if I can call it a mechanism. Oh, and you can see that, but that's not a problem because I've got one spare. It all adds up. Oh, but I can't reach that. That's annoying. Oh well, there we go. That's the main entrance. And this is the way to my house. Cool. They're both connected. Now that before I start the trading hall, I have another project I to do. I want to move this entrance. Because I'll... I just realised something and then realised I was completely wrong. Remember all of that stone I put in the furnace? I thought I was actually going to need cobblestone. <sighs> Don't worry, it's supposed to be stone. I'm going to cover all of this area up with stone. I'm going to make it look natural and move this entrance. So I'm going to have to move it a couple of blocks over. So I'd say... One, two, three... That should be perfectly fine. And then I just have ladders going up there. That's not a problem at all. Um, do I have any ladders in here? One. Alright. Well, it's good to have spares. You know, I'm going to make a little, nice little entrance. So, I'll take some of this to make it look a little bit more decorated. And you know, I'll take that fence as well. I will make... You know what? I'm going to use that cherry wood. I'm going to make... Three more ladders. I'm gonna hope that's enough. Oh! One, two, three, four. You know, I would kind of like one going out so that I can kind of build on that little fancy entrance. So we'll just have spares, whatever. Well, you know, how about I place logs behind here to make it even more decorated? Because I love decorating things. Then I could do that, and then I could place that fence down, and then maybe a torch on top of it to stop mob spawning. Nice! That's the new entrance. Okay, let me put the ladders down and then I'll get the stone. I'm and I'm also going to remove this patch of gravel right here. That patch is really annoying. I really hate that patch. So I'm going to remove it. Seems to be all done. Almost all done. 
But you know what? No one really uses birch, so let's just put that in there. And that's really. Uh, we'll just use a stair, I guess. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna wait for this one stone to smelt. Now, don't change it into stone, but we are now going to head over here. Well, I guess the first thing I can do is fill in this hole. I'll do it there. There we go, I'll just be going through here. Oh, a zombie is approaching. Dead. I'm just going to curve this so that it looks like a naturally generating curve. And then what this is going to do is just going to go over the spruce planks so that it doesn't show. There we go. Simple way to fix that problem. Oh, I think I'm going to need a bit more stone. You know, I think I'm going to place that torch further in. There we go. And I'm going to place one right there. No, no, right there. There we go. And I've actually um, run out of stone. Whoops. Let's just remove that. Make it look more natural. There we go. I'd say that looks like a natural curve to me. I fell in the infinite water source. A bit more stone to remove that gravel. I'm glad I put that 20 in what I did. You know what? If I break nine blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I could start removing this patch of gravel as well. But I guess this doesn't really need to be entirely removed yet because it it's not that annoying. This patch of gravel isn't that annoying. That one was. Oh, we've got carrots ready to be harvested. I did expand and improve this carrot farm by adding more carrots in the last corrupted episode. And I spent ages filling those bits in with stone. And I tried to do it with that bit, but then I realised it was an extra water source. It's helping these ones at the back grow. So we can go into here and have full access to this villager room. I think I'm going to put my trading hall in there. Wait, hold on. That's where my mine is, isn't it? If I break this... I'm just looking for something to block it up so that no villagers get through. I'll eventually come across my mind, won't I? Will I not? Am I actually going to be able to put it here? Because I'd love to, that would be the easiest thing to do. I think we have a yes for our answer. I think it's okay to put the trading hall here. I'm going to put three gates along there. I'm going to put three gates. They're going to be spruce. To match the theme. Oh, I need more sticks. Well, you know, I'm running out of overall inventory space. If I get rid of those, then I make 
that entirely into sticks. One, two, three. Didn't mean to make so many spruce planks, but oh well. It's not like it matters that much. That's where the trading hall will be. It will look better eventually. And I tell you what, you guys have a much nicer breeding room now that I'm done decorating it. You know, I've got all these spare stone bricks, so I might as well. I might as well start putting them over here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna have to break the ladder. There we go, and some along there, and finally, over here. Nice, and we've still got spare, so I'm thinking we add them to there. In the trading hall. Oh, bedtime, is it? Well, you know what, in the morning I want to do some more breeding. And I want to see how my sugarcane is doing. I also have way too much junk in my inventory, so I'm going to put it in the currently only one chest. Oh, do I have anything in here? Do I have anything? Oh, that's where I keep my valuables, right? Yeah, I sorted that out earlier. Oh, that's where all my books are and my emeralds and my... Ah, alright. Okay, good to know. Because I knew I had one somewhere, I just wasn't quite sure where it was. You know, I could put those stairs back and the fences and the extra ladders and the, the bed. It's not that useful right now. I'll keep the lectern. I don't really need the dirt. And do I need that? No, I don't really need that right now. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Oh yeah, I have so much spruce wood because I cut down that spruce tree. And then I replanted it. Twice! Well, quick news flash. Oh. Quick news flash. Not a single one has grown. You've been there for time. Not a single one has grown. I am disappointed to the very core. Hey, stop using me. <gasps> Bones! That's it! I forgot about bone meal. Oh, and it's going to be enough to do it to every single one. Oh, that was a very convenient skeleton right there. And then I can do that and get the rest. Cool. Now I've only got four spots to fill in. Just make that look a bit more natural, because you know that's who I am. I'm a natural guy? That doesn't sound very right, does it? How much stone do I have? Zero, alright. Great. If I had spares, I would... Wait, there's some of the furnace, isn't there? And I've got dirt in the chest. I definitely check that. Fifteen. I might fill in that cave, you know. It's getting really boring. Having to jump over it every single time. I keep telling myself, oh, I'll do it later. After a while, you just forget, and then you never do it later. It's like a complete lie.
This hole looks very much like a creeper exploded here. Not anymore. Look at that. Problem solved. This gravel block is annoying me. Let's put this away. That's a lot of gravel. Two stacks and 23. No wonder I have so much flint. Oh, it's because of that gravel vein below when I was doing the villager breeder. Right. I don't currently have any sugar cane on me, so I can't actually make any leptons for the trading hall. More carrots. Let's go down here. Now the reason I've put three gates here is because I'll need to, to take villagers into here. And the easiest way to do that is with a bug, because then you can't move. Well, they can't move. But you can move them. So it's easy to just drag them in. Now then, I think we'll have one villager there, one villager there. Then... Right, if I extend this... I'm going to extend it by there. I don't know why I've just filled in those. They're going to be broken anyway, so why did I do that? I don't know, I don't even know, I don't even know why I placed them incorrectly. Why did I just a suspicious line? That's a bit weird. I've not seen that before. Maybe it's just a bit silly. The world generation. So if I extend it like this, then I'll have one villager there, one villager there, one villager there. And there's space for like a log or something here in between each one. I think that's the idea. Cool, now I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do the floor and the roof. I'm also going to dig out where each of the villagers will go in each slot. Let me just do that so I can see. And then the roof. Oh. What's, what's that block? I think that might be under the wheat farm. Wait, no. What, what is that? Hold on, what's the... Uh, minus 39824. I'll check what's above that once I've done this. more over there. Oh, it's from the carrot farm, isn't it? It's got to be. That's the only explanation. This is very much below a carrot farm. So it's got to be. What did I tell you? The carrot farm. Minus 3.9824. That's the carrot farm. Just go through here. And then you go through here to the trading hall. Oh, before I forget, let me get some bread. I have some in my chest, if I remember correctly. And then I can breed you guys. That'll be great. You know what? I'm just going to split it in half. Give you half. 
and then you. Now, I'm going to dig each slot. So, this will need to be two blocks deep because the job block will be there and the villager will go in here. Actually, I'm going to make it that tall. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Not to worry, we've got infinite iron now. I'm so glad iron is not a problem anymore. I made the right choice of building that quickly. On survival worlds, I usually don't do it as quick. But I decided to change it this time. Oh. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to do... I think I'm gonna have to move over the slots by one. Just so that it's even. I just want it to be even. It just looks much better when it's like that, in my opinion. Oh. Oh, not a problem. We can just do that. And then hopefully the spruce plants won't be visible. I was just a bit peckish, just getting my food. Alright, and then, um, something's wrong with this wall. Oh, it's... wait. Is it not just... No, oh, it is that. Okay. And then, we do these walls in between here. And then, those gaps are where the villagers are gonna go. Oh, oh, Flint. Wow, even after I've changed the settings, it's still quite laggy. Alright, I'll fiddle with them again and hopefully next video won't be as laggy. And then that will be spruce. Ah! Oh, I just broke dirt with a pickaxe and then stone with an axe. What is wrong with me today? I hope I'm going to have enough stone bricks for this. Oh, you know what? It's not even close. I'm not having enough. I've only got two, so I guess I can do this, and then any more roofs or floors I need to complete. Oh, this one! Perfect, we had none to spare. Well, when I say perfect, I mean... Not as if I hate having spares. I hear lots of mobs. Oh, and I see lots of new villagers. We've got four of them. Great. Good to know you guys are up and running. Ah, oh, cut it out. There we go. So this is guys. Uh, 
there we go. And you know what? There's not much to really do left in this video. So I think I'm going to end it here. So don't forget to leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy. And make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.